Hello everybody, this is Tycut. Welcome to this video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be going over my top 5 favorite unpopular, well not, they're not very unpopular, I'm just not going to be going over plugins like Essentials and World Edit because you probably already know about those. But I'm going to be going over my, well they're not really my top 5, I'm just going to be basically showing you 5 really good plugins that I recommend for your server. So, let's start the video. The first plugin I'm going to be looking at is the plugin called Button Warp. Now, this plugin allows you to set buttons and telepads and levers as a warping uh, point so you don't have to type a command. So, I'm going to show you an example with this telepad right here. It's going to put me under the thing though because we're not finished with it, but that is an example of it. It just set me right under. So, I'm going to show you some basic setup and commands and stuff. So, I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to get a button. Alright, so, let's just say I wanted to warp myself right in front of this house, for some reason. I could do this, I could do a BW, as in button warp, I can make the warp, and I can call it tut. So, I made a button warp right here. Now, let's just say... I wanted to connect this button, so when I clicked it, it would put me right there. All I would do is hover over the button and go B W link and then the name and then it says it has it linked it. So now when I click it, it takes me to this location. So there's a lot more commands such as messages, you can integrate iconomy with it, and a whole bunch of other things. So Let's go to the next one. Alright, so the next plugin I'm going to be talking about is the Rules plugin. Now with this plugin, it allows you to make it so when people first spawn in your world, or when people first join your server, it will not allow them to talk or build anything, and that is configurable. And every time they try to do something, it will say, please read rules at forward slash rules. And then that's going to tempt them to actually read the rules, which is very important as you can see you can customize your rules I have techcraft rules and info and all the information and then right here it says type forward slash accept rules to gain access and after you do that it will allow you to talk and build so that is a very useful plugin especially if you have a lot of people coming in and you want to make sure that they at least get a slight glimpse of what the rules are so let's move on to the next plugin Alright, so this plugin is called Lock It. Now, what it does is it allows you to lock chests and doors. Now, most people use the LWC plugin to do this, but I find that to be buggy at times. For example, if you use World Edit and clear a chest, it will still say that this block is locked. But this does it very simply, just with a sign, and it uh, works the exact same way almost. So, to lock something, all you do, for example, here I have this door, I can set the sign either there or up here with doors. All I would do was, is put it right there, and that's the first line, I would put private, and then I would leave that line blank, because that would be my name, and if I wanted to, I could put any other users right here, and they would also have access to that. So when I click done, it says private, my name, and any other people I want access to. You obviously do not have to put other people. And you lock chests the same way by setting it in front, typing private, whoops, by typing private, and then there you go. So, that's that plugin. Let us go to the next one. Alright, now the next plugin I'm going to be looking at I think is essential for almost every single server. It is called uh, Logblock. And what it allows you to do is figure out who's been placing and breaking blocks and roll them back. So, for example, let's just say you have a griefer and he comes in and just places things randomly everywhere, which you do not like. What you can do is you can type LB tool, and it will bring up whatever you have configured as your log block tool. If you right click on the block, it will bring up the uh, whoever was the last one to edit that block the date they edited it, and the time they did it. So, uh, you can also roll back, so if I go over here and I type LB roll back, I type player, I type in my player name, 
Brandon Hopkins. I type since, let's say, five minutes, and then I type in an area of 10. Hit enter. It's going to say there's 10 block changes. Are you sure you want to continue? I would type forward slash yes, and then it will fix all my blocks. So that, once again, like I said before, is very essential to help prevent griefs and to fix griefs. So to the final plugin. Now the final plugin I'm going to be talking about is called DYN Map. You probably heard about this. It is a plugin that allows you to have a live map on the internet so people can see what's going on in your server, see text and stuff. So in a sec I'm just going to bring up an image of that so I don't have to close fraps. But here's some commands if I do DYN Map Render. It will start rendering some tiles, which the tiles are images of, I think, a chunk. So it's going to render two tiles, and then it, the area of this place will be refreshed. So here's the image of the DYN map. This is my DYN map for my server, and um, it doesn't automatically do this circle thing. It's a different plugin, but that's just what it looks like. You can get that on your server for sure. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you in some sort of way. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. We will be uploading videos like this regu regularly. So I would say once every three days at max. Hopefully once every day we will have videos up. So also if you have like how the server looks, feel free to join it. The IP address is mc.techhut.us or you can find it on our forums at techhut.us. So, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day, and goodbye.